Not so long ago, Bristol harboured relegation fears themselves. Yesterday's win at Edge Hall Road secured a mid-table berth. They came from behind after winger Graham Smith gave Oral an early lead. For the rest of the first half, Bristol assumed complete control, though. Oral's defence was scattered by the charging run of Tongan winger Dave Tuiti, and the scores were level. Arwell Thomas converted to put the West Country men ahead. Thomas has been having a sticky time at Bristol of late, but yesterday the diminutive Welsh fly half was back to his best. Great run, followed by great inside pass, equals great try by Tuiti once again. Bristol were cruising 26-5 up at half-time. But this loose midfield pass prompted Oral's thrilling second-half comeback. Graham Smith's their top try scorer this season, and a 60-yard sprint to the line brings him number 13. A summer playing rugby league with Wakefield beckons. Now remember this 70th minute penalty from Thomas though. These three points were to be the ultimate difference between the two sides. Bristol needed that kick because Oral scored two more tries in the dying minutes. From a sale number eight, Andy McFarlane playing his first game for the club, laid on a score for the man playing his last. Leicester bound Austin Healy got this farewell touchdown. Healy's going to be missed, but Frano Bottica's with them next season, and in Smith, Oral have unearthed another gem. He played a huge role in their fourth try, thoughts of a spectacular hat-trick as he flashes down the wing, but Louis Twigger Marlin needs to add a helping hand. The Western Samoan makes it four tries each. You now see why Arwell Thomas's penalty was so important. This week's fashion note, what are Bristol doing playing in red? Well, while spectators mused on that, Oral went ahead after only seven minutes. Ian Wynn involved twice in an excellent handling move before rounding things off in the corner. A mixed day for him, though. Yellow carded later on for a stiff-arm tackle on Paul Hull. Jack Rao was among the crowd perusing a few England wannabes, but a future Welsh star, Arwell Thomas, stole the show. That drop goal, together with three conversions and three penalties, gave him a tally of 18 points with the boot. Nonetheless, Bristol were down at the interval, but an early second-half score turned the game. A rolling maul lumbered towards the try line, and underneath a whole heap of bodies was the lock Simon Shaw. And not much doubt about the result after that. Bristol's pack took control, and after good work by Kevin Maggs and the robust New England hooker Mark Regan, the ball went to ground, and from the ensuing ruck, it was Martin Corrie, the number eight, who bashed over from close in. The final word, though, was left to Thomas. As Oral attacked, Paul Johnson's long pass to Ian Wynn stuck like glue to the Welshman's outstretched hands. 70 metres later, only his third Courage League game was crowned by his first try for his new club. An all-dancing, all-kicking, virtuoso performance and as one contender for the Welsh number 10 jersey returned to the fold in Cardiff, another was enjoying the first fruits of folk hero status just...